गुड डे एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ डॉक्टर जय फ्रॉम एम जी एम मेडिकल कॉलेज कामोटे एंड माई पेपर फॉर टूडे इज़ टाइटल्ड अ टाइट स्क्वीज अनपैकिंग द मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ सीलिया कार्ट्री कंप्रेशन सिंड्रोम सो सीलिया कार्ट्री कंप्रेशन सिंड्रोम कॉमनली रिफर्ड टू एज डनबार सिंड्रोम और मीडियन आकुट लिगोमेंट सिंड्रोम इज एन अनकॉमन कंडीशन दैट लीड्स टू इंटरमीडियंट एबडोम पेन दिस अकर्स टू ड्यू टू द कंप्रेशन ऑफ द सीलिया एक्सेस a major blood vessel supplying the left gastric splenic and common hepatic arteries this compression is typically caused by a fibrous band of tissue from the diaphragm called the median arcuate ligament cct of the abdomen is the best investigation to study the spectrum of manifestation of this condition as the median arcuate ligament celiac axis superior mesentic artery and the organs perfused by these vessels are well delineated on this investigation we review the different manifestations of celiac artery compression and the effects on the various organs the aims and objectives are to study the different manifestations of celiac artery compression to assess the degree of organ damage on the celiac artery compression and to see if degree of thickening of the median arcuate ligament corresponds with organ damage due to vessel compression so the first case is we had a 26 year old male patient who presented with complaints of pain in upper abdomen exaggerating on deep inspiration he was taken for ct abdomen and pelvis and these are the sagittal and axial sections here we can see the thickening of the median arcuate ligament with a thickness of 7.8 mm which caused compression and indentation of the proximal celiac artery celiac trunk approximately 40% of it at a distance of 7 mm from from its origin with mild post stenotic dilatation so the next case was a 14 year old boy who presented with complaints of pain in the upper right abdomen with post prandial abdominal pain and epigastric pain related to respiratory variations we can see cct the sagittal and the axial sections we can see the proximal aspect of the celiac trunk is significantly narrowed on the axial image and the median arcuate ligament is thickened which is seen on the sagittal section with a thickness of 5.3 mm the third case was a 35 year old male patient who presented with complaints of pain and severe tenderness in the upper abdomen predominantly in the left hypochondrium and lumbar regions here in the sagittal image of the cct we can see the thickened median arcuate ligament with a thickness of 5.9 mm we can see multiple wedge shaped hypodens areas in both kidneys and the proximal aspect of the celiac trunk which is extremely narrowed in in these cct axial images we can see multiple wedge shaped hypodens large areas in the splenic parenchyma so the ct findings appear to show multiple hypodens areas wedge shaped involving the splenic parenchyma suggestive of splenic infarcts there also appeared to be few small peripheral wedge shaped hypodens areas involving the mid poles of both kidneys such as of renal infarcts the median arcuate ligament caused indentation of the on the superior aspect of the proximal celiac trunk causing significant short segment narrowing this median arcuate ligament also appears to indent the superior aspect of the proximal superior mesentic artery causing focal mild narrowing with mild post stenotic dilatation The next case was a 35 year old female who presented with complaints of pain in upper abdomen nausea and vomiting diarrhea and weight loss so in this clip we can see that the origin of the celiac trunk shows no flow after the proximal aspect the origin of the superior mesentic artery is severely stenosed there is no flow distilled from the origin of the celiac trunk and the origin of the superior mesentic artery is extremely narrowed so here we can see a vessel which is communicating between the superior mesentic artery and the distal aspect of the celiac trunk so this vessel is an anatomical variant called arc of buller due to this anatomical variant even though the proximal aspect of the celiac trunk is completely blocked off the all the branches of the celiac axis are perfused and in these images we can see that the uh, uh, splenic artery is perfused and hence the spleen is receiving some form of blood supply unfortunately some aspects of the spleen have developed infarcts here we can see in the actual images multiple patchy wedge shaped hypodens areas in the spleen such as infarcts the compressed celiac artery here no showing no flow distally so there is abnormal communication between the uh, superior mesentic artery and the celiac axis likely suggestive of arc of buller variant the median arcuate ligament appears to cause indentation of the on the proximal celiac trunk causing significant narrowing 
It also appears to cause indentation in the superior aspect of the proximal superior mesentic artery with post-genotic dilatation. There are few patchy hypodense wedge-shaped non-enhancing areas involving the spleen such as your infarcts. So the next case is a 37-year-old male patient who presented with complaints of pain and severe tenderness in the upper abdomen with exercise-induced abdominal pain. On CECT sagittal sections, we can see the thickened median acute ligament with a thickness of 6.4 mm. On the actual images, we can see the bulky pancreas with loss of lobulations and peripancreatic fat stranding. So celiac artery compression syndrome, also referred to as median acute ligament syndrome, is an uncommon cause of chronic mesenteric ischemia. This condition arises from external pressure exerted on the proximal celiac artery during breathing, especially during expiration by the median acute ligament situated just beneath the diaphragm. The median acute ligament originates from the di diaphragmatic crura, from the front surfaces of the L1 to L4 vertebrae on the right and from the first two or three lumbar vertebrae on the left. They extend from the intervertebral discs and the anterior longitudinal ligament as well. They, these crura ascend, move forward to encircle the aortic opening and connect to the diaphragm central tendon. The median acute ligament is a fibrous structure that links the diaphragmatic crura on either side of the aortic hiatus. Typically, it arches over the aorta at the level of the first lumbar vertebra. However, in some patients, it may be positioned lower, causing proximal celiac axis and, uh, with a characteristic indentation. Due to the relationship of these structures, there is the range from mild compression, which is often asymptomatic, to complete obstruction of the celiac artery. In patients with compression, the celiac artery is compressed by the ligament during expiration. Conversely, during inspiration, the artery moves downward, resulting in a more vertical alignment that often alleviates the compression. Because symptomatic individuals, predominantly females with the average age of 45, present with a wide range of symptoms, diagnosing and formulating a treatment strategy can be quite complex. This literature review concentrates on the most prevalent signs and symptoms and imaging characteristics that relate to the celiac artery compression. In conclusion, the celiac artery compression syndrome is a rare cause of chronic mesenteric ischemia. The most widely accepted etiology is the thickening of the median arcuate ligament which causes compression during expiration. Definitive diagnosis is achieved with some form of contrast based angiography. So the different and there is a diverse array of manifestations uh, is varying from just celiac artery compression asymptomatically to also having splenic and or renal infarcts. So prompt examination of these patients by CECT abdomen is necessary. These are my references. Thank you.